have a, a bad back, and then I got hit by a cab. I come back from Woodbine, it was raining cats and dogs. And I get to the top of the bridge, and I look to the east and the west, and there wasn't a car for as, wasn't a headlight or taillight for as far as the eye could see. The light's green, and uh, if I don't see it turn green, you know, I don't want to start down that, that you know, so I just coast, you know, I'm coasting, riding the brake until the light turns, and then I waited long enough, I started moving. I'm about four car lines from the intersection, the light turns green. Off to my right, the lights go on in the cab, and the guy backs up onto a uh, river. So I know he's going east, I'm going west, right? And uh, it was just, I have no illusion that he's gonna fucking pay any attention to my green light, he's a taxi cab. They have their own rule book they go by. So I know he's gonna fuck him in. Sure enough, he pulls out in front of me, and then the, you know, the. <laughs> I knew I was fucked. Sure enough, the pedal hits the fucking, <laughs> just the pedal, just the pedal, bang, he flips the bike up, by and hit the ground. You know, four broken ribs and a compression fracture of the spine at C7. Two and a half percent of the population are truly fucking evil. They're what you would consider an antisocial personality. Well, antisocial personality has like 12 characteristics, right? You know, they tend to uh, relay information only of the worst kind. Uh, when, when relaying information, they drop out things. If you alter the time, the place, the form, or the event, right? If you leave any of these things out, it's no longer truth. Fentanyl is like the strongest narcotic known to man, right? You know, and I've done every drug known to man or beast. Absolutely, it pisses me off that, that I have to suffer with pain when there's actually no need to because there's, you know, I mean, I, I, I should have a box of fentanyl patches in my medicine cabinet quality of life would be much improved if I would just be able to, the doctors would just listen to me and let me self-medicate. Enlightened self-interest, you know, that's what I always say, enlightened self-interest. I got up this morning, well actually it was before I got up. Something's different, I'm saying to myself, something's different, what's it? Wait a minute, I have no pain. <laughs> Wait, could this be true? Could I have no, you know, it's like, I don't want to disturb it and all of a sudden have pain. So I'm moving slowly to the right and slowly to the left. And I'm stretching this way and I'm stretching that way, right? And it's like, okay, no pain still. Still no pain. Oh, could I actually be pain free? This is unbelievable, you gotta understand. I got like two days pain free every two months. And this looks like one of those 12-hour pain-free days. I was just ecstatic. I was thrilled. Absolutely ecstatic, right? You know, you got the best chairs in the city, man. Thank you. Thank yeah. You know, like, I mean, 15 minutes in one of your chairs is equal to uh, easily a half hour, an hour at one of those hack chiropractors over on Main Street, you know? You know, work today, John? I decide when I want to work and I don't. You know, you're never free until you fly with the birds. That's what they say. Now, if I'm telling a story and I omit the time, it would make what I'm telling you a lie. Any alteration of that makes it less than the truth. If we're all dealing with one another, and we're all truthful, then we can all deal with it. It doesn't matter if we disagree. It doesn't matter if we have differences of opinions. We can work everything out because we're dealing from a truth. As soon as someone lies, you fucking throw a monkey wrench into their works that fucks everything up. Um, excuse me. Twerp, excuse me, twerp. What kind of a bird are you? You've been walking around the bottom of the cage the whole time. 
You got one, two, three, four. You have five perches. If you escaped, would you actually fly or just walk away? Great, I got the only bird afraid of heights. Yeah, okay. You know what? Okay, stop being such an idiot, right? You can't have one of the 12 traits of the antisocial personality because you're a bird. You're not a human being. Come here. Now, here's my finger. Up and cool me. My God. Holy. Get back here, you. All right, all right. Holy shit, come on. You know I got a bad back, you little bitch. One of, one of my fortes, uh, I've said, is the ability to create illusions perceivable by others. These things are nothing but huge lies, but I use them in order to facilitate um, profit <laughs> in my pocket. And, you know, obviously I have it justified, or I wouldn't be able to do it. Pretty one-sided way of thinking, John. I'd rather be a hermit than live in a life of detest. Well, you've heard, of course, of the rhesus macaque, the monkey. Three more strands of DNA and he could drive a car. What does monkeys have to do with it? They live in the family group. These family groups have a little tribe. The tribe's a little community. The whole, it's a whole social structure. You take one of these monkeys out of that social structure, you put him in isolation, what happens? The bloody thing goes stark raving mad. Maybe I know all the answers, I just forgot all the questions. You know what? I just have one more question. Whose hands are these? These are not the hands I walked into the park with. So I'm 61 years old. My body's pretty chewed up, but, you know, it saddens me there's a lot of things I'm not going to be doing anymore because I'm not physically able to. You know, I mean, although, you know, I hate being, you know, the effect of matter, energy, space, and time, you know, like a victim, you know, I hate being the effect of, you know, someone else like that. However, when it's all said and done, a man's worth is determined by what he's left behind. <coughs> I can say one sentence that sums up everything. Oh, I lost my train of thought there.